Hi everybody, it's me, Mr. B, and I'm sorry that I can't be there with you today, but I created this video to show you how to draw a realistic tree. And I know that some of you started working on artwork inspired by leaves yesterday, and we're gonna be diving into um, a few different projects to celebrate the fall season in Vermont. And so this is one of my favorite drawing um, exercises. It's gonna be all about shading and um, let's get started. Make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil and always write your name on your paper. And um, you can follow along with me as I go and I'll try not to go too fast. So here we go, folks. Okay, so I have my piece of paper here. I have a pencil. Make sure your pencil has a pretty good uh, tip on it. And anytime I draw a tree, I wanna, I like to build my tree from the ground up. So the first thing I'm gonna do, well actually no, the first thing I'm gonna do is put my name on my paper. And I drew this line here, that's gonna become the ground where the tree is gonna grow out of. And um, this project, most of the time when, I, when we do drawing projects with pencil, I always want you to really go slow and use a sketch, a sketch technique where you kind of um, build your line little by little, um, make, making your pencil kind of go back and forth like this so that you can really kind of build it out um, slowly. What I did here is I just started by creating two lines which will become the trunk of my tree. And you'll notice that I have a lot of uh, room up here. That is so that I have enough room to make my branches. And um, you wanna make sure that your the sides of the trunk of the tree are not too far apart and not too close together. So uh, kind of you can kind of measure with like your finger. It should be about the, the width of your finger. Okay, so um, one technique that I love using for branches is after you have the trunk drawn like that, you um, start, start to pull the lines, um, one side goes to the left, one side goes to the right. And then I'm gonna actually use the letter V. So you can see right here, I, I drew the letter V. And by doing that, I created um, kind of the pathway for one branch to go this way. And if you have enough room, you can do another one right here kind of at like the, the mouth of, of the top of your trunk. And so I did another V and now I just created a pathway for a branch this way and a pathway for a branch this way. And so um, using that, that technique is great for kind of branching out your, your tree. And so now, um, I'm just gonna start having fun building my, my branches. And like I said, always try and um, use a sketchy technique. So if this one, if this branch is going this way, I'll kind of build it little by little and maybe it takes a little turn. And then um, if I wanna have smaller branches, I can simply just bring two lines out from there. And as the branches get, um, higher up on the tree, you want them to be a little bit thinner and smaller. And I'm actually gonna leave um, the ends of these open. I'm not gonna turn them into twigs because I'm gonna add some leaves on the end of that. But um, yeah, you can kind of bend them in different directions. You can, maybe this takes a, a turn like that way and then two lines go that way. And then maybe there's a one that comes out right there. Now it kind of looks like the letter Y. So I'll do that again over here. And this is really kind of a fun way to just practice 
your sketching techniques. I will have some um, idea sheets, some printouts of trees that you can use as a reference. But I think it's also fun to just kind of do your own thing and make up your own tree. Okay, so now I have a good set of branches. Um, maybe this one's gonna come up this way. And actually, I think I'm gonna make it bend and I'll put another V in there. So now I have like this branch that has now two pathways. That V is really helpful. And if you feel like it's not quite looking right or maybe your branches are a little bit too wide, you can always erase it. That's why I always suggest drawing light. Okay, so, um, and then kind of, yeah, like figure out, do you want to have some branches um, behind other branches, which is a really fun technique. So I could even say like in this little area where I did my first letter V, I could pull up a branch that goes behind this one. And then you have to figure out like, where does this line continue behind here? And now we're just by doing that, I created a line or uh, um, a branch in the distance. And you can, I'll talk more about shading, but darkening that area. So you can tell that it's like from, from the other side of the tree. Um, and you can really have fun kind of interlacing these branches. So like, Maybe, maybe this one comes up and these guys kind of like cross in front of each other like that. Okay. Um, and I know that most of you are probably going to have, you're going to spend some time um, doing that and there's no need to rush on that one. But um, one of the most important things to do as an artist trying to render a tree realistically is to really think about um, where is the light source? So where would the sun be hitting the tree? So let's say the sun is coming from this corner up here. If I kind of like, and I also like to tilt my, my pencil and I'm not gonna draw each individual leaf. I'm kind of just gonna like, Imagine like you're drawing like little kind of like tufts of like cotton candy or like little clouds. And I'm, I'm just gonna start making like little tufts and some of them over overlap and some of them are in front of other ones. You can kind of plan like where is, um, where do these branches hold their leaves? And um, maybe there's like, you can see a little bit over here. And you can always say, hmm, this part looks a little empty. I think I need to add another branch right there. And I can add a little, another tuft in there. And you have to kind of like figure out where would you see that little tuft of leaves? And it's okay also if you wanted to like bring your leaves totally like even off the page so that you don't have to stay within the boundary of the paper. It's kind of nice when your tree is so fluffy that it that it goes outside of the border. Okay, so um, now I have these little tufts, and like I said, if my if my light source is up here, that means the light would be shining down, and and would kind of create like a shadow on the bottom part of these little tufts. So if you just if you just do a little bit of shading, kind of almost like scribbling on the on the bottom part of these little tufts and like just have fun with it. Just let your pencil kind of dance around. But you can see by by adding some of the shading and creating um, creating a sh a shadow on the bottom part of where my tufts would be, kind of keeping it consistent too. So if you know the light is coming from up here, try and always keep the shadows on like the bottom left of these little tufts. Um, 
and then for these spots maybe there maybe this one is kind of in the darkness anyway so you can you can make it a little bit darker than the ones on top because these ones would be getting a lot of light um and then once you're like happy with it oh and look see i forgot to add some little tufts in there so you kind of have to just like go around and see if you missed anything and again this is a, a sketching process um i want you to really just focus on pencil drawing with this one don't worry about adding color we'll um we'll use some more of this technique uh when i get back but yeah really try and just spend the whole class crafting your pencil skills you can do so much cool stuff with just a pencil and a piece of paper um okay so now and also tilting your pencil to the side is another great tips because it gives it um, a little bit of a softer line so i'm not i don't have that really hard line but for the um for the trunk, for the texture in the trunk, you might want that that hard line. Um, so I can kind of use my um, my pencil to create just some texture, just little tiny lines that make great texture. And then, um, yeah, really just taking your time with it, cleaning up some of these lines. Maybe if there's um, branches that are coming, they're like look like they're behind they can be darker just a tad darker and again if the light is coming from up here that means this side of the tree over here would probably have a little bit of shadow too so I could use my my shading technique over here to darken that side of my of my trunk and figuring out where if the light is coming from the right the shading should mostly be on the left. And um, you can also have an eraser handy in case you think some parts need to be cleaned up. But I'm really just taking my time here. And then what I also love to do is I have this tree that's just kind of sitting um, in the grass. I could even make some grass down there. But um, you could think about you could think about adding some uh, even just even just a little bit of shading in the sky would give it a little bit more depth. You know, like kind of bringing just a little bit of of line behind the tree. We don't have to go wild and and draw a full on landscape because I really want this to be focusing on just the tree. But I hope that this was helpful for you to kind of understand how like building it line by line and using different techniques, we can create a, a pretty realistic looking tree. Um, and and just figure out how you feel most comfortable holding your pencil do you like holding it from the back like this or really tight like this up close and um and i'm so excited to see your um your trees when i get back and again please make sure you clean up um, and be respectful to the guest teacher and um happy Happy drawing, everybody. I'll see you um, next art class. Enjoy.